Maternal and infant mortality has been an epidemic many states of the nation have been fighting. Northwestern, the battle is yet to be completely won, but measures and innovative projects spring up day by day to ensure that the maternal and child mortality rate is brought to its barest minimum. The joy of being pregnant for nine months and having a safe delivery cannot be overemphasized as children are said to be not only the joy of every parent but also the leaders of tomorrow. Therefore, there have to be collective efforts by the government, parents and the society at large in ensuring this comes to a reality and no child's life or dream is cut short due to any unforeseen epidemic. The government of Senator Ibikuli Amosu through the State Ministry of Health has never taken the welfare of his people lightly. Day by day, the government of the day is breaking new grounds to guarantee the well-being of all its citizens, especially the vulnerable ones, among whom are women and children. Health, they say, is wealth. When the people are healthy, there is bound to be a wealthy workforce in such society. The numerous challenges faced by the health system in Ogun State before the present administration came into office are gradually becoming a thing of the past. Thus, taking urgent steps to address this issue at the inception of his administration, Senator Ibekuni Amosu made efficient health care delivery the second among the five cardinal programs of his administration and its mission to rebuild the gateway state. People in those hinterlands, before they have access to maybe any health service, they have to travel. Even before they get to where they're going for that, uh, to seek for that uh, uh, health uh, service, sometimes even some of them uh, died. And so we've asked around, even before when we were putting up our uh, manifesto, we discovered that once we're able to get what we call the primary health care services, once we're able to get that right, then almost 60-70% of the health challenges will have been solved. Primary health care centers serves as the first point of call to the people, especially those at the rural areas. Without the proper infrastructure, medical personnel and equipment, the people at the grassroots will not be able to get the proper health care they need. The refurbishment of the primary health care centers has now brought a different story for the rural populace as week in week out. There is an increase in patronages in these health centers where pregnant women and children are given the necessary and proper medical attention they need. There has been a lot of increase in the patronage of our primary health centers. You know, before we came in, the, most of the primary health centers, they were not in very good conditions. But we are able to put we are able to put many of them in good conditions, especially the 47 that uh, we equipped and also got personnel and also got equipment. So the so the, the usage has increased and the people are very happy. Regularly, pregnant women receive free treated mosquito nets and anti-malaria drugs as a way to fight the killer disease in pregnancy. Proper measures have also been put in place to ensure that babies receive free immunization at regular intervals. The government through the Ministry of Health has periodically continued to monitor the operations and progress of the health centers. In order to further emphasize the importance of the well-being of children, major polio advocacy meetings and programs in collaboration with other stakeholders are being embarked upon to sensitize people at the grassroots on the importance of polio immunization with the aim of fighting polio to finish amongst young children in the state. In addition to the different advocacy programs, home-to-home -home polio immunization takes place as at when due in and outside state capital with regular monitoring by relevant stakeholders. Many governmental and non-governmental organizations as well as private companies have also partnered with the state government on different health care programs targeted at addressing one health issue or the other. 
Recently, the state government under the Office of the Millennium Development Goals introduced a special program called Conditional Cash Transfer, CCT, with the aim of encouraging pregnant women and nursing mothers to access health care services in order to reduce maternal and child mortality rate in the state and country at large. Also, the wife of the Ogun State Governor, Mrs. Ulufonshua Mosun, in collaboration with the Medical Women Association of Nigeria, the Ogun State Chapter, organized a breast cancer screening program for women in rural areas of the state. The exercise was carried out in some selected local government areas across the three senatorial districts in Ogun State. At the event which kicked off at Abekuta North Local Government, the First Lady, who also participated in the screening program, took time to educate the women on the need for them to be screened. We advise them to take advantage of this program that we've put in place because this program is going to go to each and every one of the 20 local governments. We advise them to come out and take advantage to allow themselves to be examined because the only cure or treatment for cancer, which is an incurable disease, is early prevention, early detection. So the program is put in place for us to find out if anybody is suffering within the early stages of cancer so that we can assist them in preventing it, either by extracting the cancerous cells and then treating them from then on. But we need people to be aware that cancer is a killer and that if you examine yourself early, then you can prevent it because it is not curable. At the Jabu North East local government area, the rural women came out en masse to be screened. The local government chairman took time to appreciate Her Excellency for the program and enumerated its importance to his local government area. The local government is very happy that the launching is happening here. Uh, the reason is not far fetched. We are rural in nature. We are about uh, a bit scattered. The launching will open the eyes of our numerous rural women to know the dangers of breast and cervical cancer and the importance of regular checking of her breast and the cervical for any noticeable uh, lumps. As she did in the various local government areas visited, the first lady who flagged off the exercise also took time to explain to the women why they need to be screened on time. At the end of the screening exercise, the president of the Medical Women Association of Nigeria, Mrs. Winfred Adenuga, agreed that it was a worthwhile program, especially with a turnout, while also appreciating Her Excellency for her support to the association and women in Ogun State. In addition to this program, the Ogun State Primary Health Care Development Board organized the second round of Year 2012 Maternal, Newborn and Child Health Week in the state. The one-week program tagged a package of health care for healthy family was carried out in different local government areas of the state. On the 3rd of December 2012, Ofada Health Care Center of Fada Obafemi Uwudi local government area was the starting point of the program. Pregnant women, nursing mothers and their newborns and children in the community were the main focus of the day and they gracefully turned out in their numbers. Also in attendance at the flag of ceremony were the wife of the Deputy Governor of Ogun State, Mrs. Fumilayo Adeshegu, who represented the wife of the State Governor, Mrs. Ulufunshua Mosu, the State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Olaogu Shoyinka, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry, Special Advisor, Senior Special Assistant to the Governor on Health, the Chairman of Obafemi Owudi Local Government Area, Honorable Nuruddin Diaolu, with his wife, Royal Fathers, other dignitaries and people of the community. Highlights of the occasion were special dance by mothers and their children, joined by some nurses at the occasion. The chairman of the local government area, Honorable Nuruddin Diaolu, welcomed everybody to the historic occasion and also gave kudos to the state government for its tireless efforts in ensuring a well-sustained health system which cut across every nooks and crannies of the state. This is a historic event in the life of this local government and aptly demonstrates the commitment of the present administration of Senator Ebikuni Amosu FCA, the executive governor of Ogun State towards improving the health of children who are our future. The event was fully supported by different partners and non-governmental organizations who are also in the fight against maternal and infant mortality in our state and around the world in general. 
I want to plead with our parents, pregnant mothers, to make sure all your children are fully immunized. If we are all fully immunized, there will be no outbreak of any disease in our communities, in the state, and in the whole country. Concerning hand washing, when you wash your hand before breastfeeding, you clean your breast before you breastfeed, and then when you do other jobs that are somehow dirty, you are supposed to be, each time you come in contact with your babies, you are supposed to be cleaning your hands. Because when you wash your hands very well, you will reduce the incidence of your children having diarrhea. The State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Alao Kusoyinka, in his remark, reiterated that government cannot do it alone. It is therefore very important for the citizens to be responsible for their well-being too. As the governor continues his work in repairing the health service across the state, particularly primary health care, it is important that we recognize our own responsibilities. As has already been said, there are midwives in certain health centers, four midwives and Jews and other people working there. All the drugs you need, all the equipment you need, but the people are not yet coming there. So the point I want to make is that although the government will be doing programs such as this, twice a year, this particular program, but we want you to be doing your duty during the whole period of the year. As you have heard, at least till nine months, you have to visit your health center six times just for the immunization for your children. Women who are pregnant, you need to go to your health centers at least four times during your pregnancy and you need to go there and deliver and you need to take the newborn baby there time and again. In the speech of Mrs. Sulufunshu Amosun, read by Mrs. Fumilayo Adeshogun, she thanked everyone for yielding to the call of the day and the honor to flag off the ceremony. She stated why such a program was organized in the state. The main aim of the MNCH week is to reach all mothers and children under the age of five years at least one week once every six months during a limited period of a week. It is indeed very sad that Nigeria is ranked 13th position in the world as one of the countries with the highest rate of child mortality, particularly for children with the age of 0 to 5 years. The causes of this high child mortality among our children under the age of 5 years are malaria, diarrhea, acute respiratory uh, infection, and received preventable diseases. All these listed diseases are preventable when adequate proactive steps are taken to mitigate, uh, to mitigate this surge. In conclusion of the speech, Mrs. Olufun Shuamoso reiterated that such exercise is to complement the role being played by the primary health care centers day in, day out in the lives of the vulnerable ones and also charged that all hands must be on deck to ensure that vulnerable ones get the best of care. The essence of this exercise is to complement the exercises rendered by our own primary health centers. The services that will be rendered during the MNCH week in the integrated package are a minimum package of high impact, low cost intervention. intervention. I therefore charge you all to cooperate with our government officials and avail yourself of services contained in this integrated package. The floor was open for participants to ask questions and also make their own contributions for necessary improvements in the health sector as well as for their own well-being. There was also the presentation of Araya Park, Katsi, the wife of the governor of the state, to mothers with newborns in the month of December at the Ofada Healthcare Center. Mrs. Fumilayo Hadishagu officially flagged off the ceremony by immunizing some of the kids present. Following the official flag off of the immunization program at Obafemi Wode local government area, the immunization was closely monitored in other local government areas which cut across the three senatorial districts of Ogo State. The monitoring exercise was done by the Ogo State Primary Health Care Development Board. 
In one of the primary health care facilities in the Kenya local government area, mothers brought their wards for the immunization exercise, which was being administered by the nurses at the facility. Mothers with a newborn at different facilities were also presented with the Araya Park, courtesy of the First Lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Ulufon Shuamosun. Other local government areas visited by the team saw compliance of the women who came out for the immunization exercise of their words, while mothers of the month were also given their own Araya Park. Some of the health facilities visited include Health Post Elishon, Primary Health Care Center Okeoyibo Ijebodi, Primary Health Care Center Itaosu Ijebodi, Primary Health Care Center Ijebuigo, Primary Health Care Center Okeiliwo in Abeokuta South Local Government. Others were in Ifo and Adoduota local government areas of the state. Some of the health personnel in charge in some of these facilities have this to share on the significance of the week and the turnout of the women for the exercise. Since the program started, uh, it's been a plus on the part of the government whereby commodities and uh, health services were taken to mothers and their children at facilities and at various uh, designated fixed posts. Services that were rendered during this week include uh, vitamin A, immunization, various antigens were given to mothers and children. Nets were also given. Folate was also given. The warming, health education and various health issues were also given to our mothers. Hand washing was not left behind ditto for measurement of a mid up arm circumference to determine the nutritional status of our children. The turnout is good. It's good. Even is um, there is no problem concerning that. The mobilization is good. So they come in, in, in mass for the vitamin A and RI. I mean the written immunization. So this uh, that is a uh, written immunization we are seeing us doing now. A chart with some of the beneficiaries at the second round of the year 2012 Maternal Newborn and Child Health Week in Ogun State revealed that many have been able to learn one or two things which will be of benefit to their health and that of their children. Others used the opportunity to appreciate the government 